uh, I don't know how much you want to get into this, too, but I'd love to go back and maybe um, ask the question about uh, your parents. And so, you know, you said they weren't really entrepreneurial and they didn't really want you to go out and do things. Uh, where do you think that came from? Was it the the culture background or where, yeah. where did that come from? Um, I think culturally, Asians are just met, uh, just more like t- told to follow instructions, listen to the elderly and someone who's got more, who's who's been around longer. Um, they weren't, I mean, when they moved to Australia as well, they didn't know any English. So they basically just started sewing from home. So they just lack of, it's almost like they just live in this little bubble. Um, and so culturally, yeah, fear of failure, fear of like, you know, never put your hands up because if you get it wrong, it's embarrassing. So when I was, I went to school in Vietnam up to the age of nine. So I know what it was like. It was like, I was the shyest kid when I came to Australia. Everyone who I tell that is like, you shy, what? <laughs> but I was. And if I stayed in that environment, I reckon I'll still be the, the same. But when I went to Australia, the teachers kept complaining at every teacher interview, your daughter needs to talk. She's so shy. And I was so frustrated with myself. And I was like, all right, I've got to really do something about it. And then I kind of you know, overcame that cultural barrier by just practicing the skill set of public speaking. And so what I've learned is that it doesn't matter what your culture is. It doesn't matter if your parents brought it up in whatever way. It's actually just a skill set you learn and then you go, oh, I didn't realize I actually like that thing. I actually like talking. <laughs>